Hello, it's Divine Needle. My name is Nell. Yesterday I was doing live readings and somebody donated to the channel. That is so generous of you. Yeah, that is really helping us out big time. Um, helps keep the channel going and uh, helps keep food in my belly. Yeah, uh, you're helping everybody if you do that. Mm -hmm. And you did. Your name is Brittany Bowen. And you want to know how your ex, the Virgo, Virgo the X is feeling towards you. Normally I would do a full cut cross on this, but you presented me this um, question. And so I will do two readings for you. Two, yeah. I will do a probe and spread on how your ex is feeling towards you. And then I'm gonna do a future reading for you as well. Yeah, she was gonna go down between you guys. If you're gonna hear from him or not, or when you, if you're gonna reach out to him or not. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it comes down to the same uh, amounts of. Um, uh, how you call it? Positions. Same amount of positions than the Celtic Cross. But um, yeah, Celtic Cross is usually just a general reading, right? But your question is a probing. Calls for the probe and spread, so it's going to give you more of an answer on how he is feeling towards you at this moment in time, okay? So, also, when I do that, it's not the full story. Keep that in mind. It's uh, just a glimpse of what's going down, how he's feeling towards you. Um, yeah. That's it. That is it. So, I already connected to your energy and shuffled it in, but I will do it again. Yeah, Brittany Bowen, and I need to connect to X to Virgo as well. Brittany Bowen, okay. Virgo, the ex of Brittany Bowen. Got some fab going on. Brittany Bowen and the ex Virgo. So I'm gonna call him Mr. Virgo. How's the Virgo, ex Virgo feeling towards Brittany Bowen? What's he thinking and feeling this moment in time? Okay, uh, force that energy into this deck, but I will do it in a physical way as well. So, here we go. Force it in. Boink. It's like weird when I do that. It's hard to explain, but it's like chakras and and then it goes like through my arms, like and I like. I'll just act like this when I do that. And yeah. Crazy. All energetics going down. Oh, I got a sneeze, I think. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. So, how is the ex Virgo feeling towards Brittany Bowen? And devil cards. How's Virgo the ex feeling towards Brittany Bowen? How's he feeling? Okay. That's not so great. Devil and three of swords. Ooh. How is Virgo the ex feeling towards Brittany Bowen? How is he feeling towards Brittany? Okay. So, yeah. Knight of Wands and the last card. How is he feeling towards you? How is the ex 
feeling towards the ex Virgo. Feeling towards Brittany Bowen. Okay. So, here we go. First part, well, first reading. Probing spread. I probe people as well, yes. So, this is only a glimpse of what's going on. I cannot pressure you enough. I pressure that enough. Fearful. Yes, devil is all about fear, jealousy, lust, envy. But the biggest one, what I feel, is fearful. Fearful that it's going to be without you forever. Things of that nature. Yeah. He might not act this way. But it seems like he uh, really misses you. Because fear is the biggest one, what I feel. Could also be jealousy. Maybe he sees you um, with other people around, you know. Probably not. But it could be jealousy as well. But the biggest what I feel here is fear. Could be fear of, like I said, um, being without you, right? Is it gonna go on forever or not? But it might also be fearful that, um, yeah, of reaching out to you. Could be too. Hmm. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Seems like he is very hurt. Yeah. This is all about heartbreak, yeah. And things not going the way that he wants them to go. Yeah. Maybe he's contacting you. Maybe you're in a, yeah. You're reaching out to him and but it's an ex, right? Yeah. But the biggest one what I feel here is heartbreak. Yeah. Yeah. So it feels not great at all. Maybe that's good news for you. Maybe you want this to him to feel this way. It could be. But um, Adam, I'm not judging you at all. But um, yeah, there's definitely something going on with fear and uh, heartbreak and disappointments. Grief. Yeah. yeah. Seems like he wants to take some action. You, yeah, at least a part of him. Yeah, this is all about not just thinking about it, but doing it. So there's a part of him, uh, there's a part in him that wants to reach out to you and want things to be better. I feel, yeah, he wants some action. It could even be the action of revenge or something as well. Okay, because these cards, especially that devil, with that uh, action here. Keep it in mind. So either this is an action in love or an action in revenge. At least that's how I see he is feeling. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And he's indecisive over it. Yeah. This I'm have I'm gonna pull another card for that. Because wait, I'm just gonna talk with this first. Yeah. So he wants to do some action. This could be love or revenge or whatever. He wants to pay back. Could be as well. But yeah, I'm not sure. I will pull another card. But he is indecisive if we should do it or not. That's totally what I feel with this. It's like, should I, should I reach out or not? Should I do some revenge action or not? That's what I feel. So, I'm going to pull another card on that. Just want to clarify that. Hmm. What's the action that the Virgo X wants to do towards Brittany Bowen? What kind of action is that? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Building memories with you. Yeah, this is all about reminiscing the past, right? Maybe this guy was a long time within your vicinity. Um, I feel this as coming to you in, in love. Yeah. yeah. Building new memories with you. So, yeah, I was like, wow. Maybe he wants to take revenge here. Um, but this is all about, yeah. Also, the uh, past life card, right? So, soulmate could be as well. Maybe you got a lot of 
lives with this person. Not saying that it is, but what I feel with this card and this kind of spread is reunion. Yeah, it wants to make new memories for you. Hmm. So, there you go. Whew, saved by the bell, right? But um, there you go. That was it. How he is feeling towards you. He's feeling fearful that it's not going to be a right between you guys. Or it could be fear that, um, yeah, of reaching out to you. He's feeling very hurt and heartbroken. Um, yeah, disappointed at the situation now that things are going. Um, seems to be indecisive. Um, yeah, he knows he got to make a choice. It's like, do I reach out or not? Reach out or not, right? Because this, yeah, that totally feels to me like taking action. Should I take action or not? Yeah. And what is that action? Yeah. Getting back with you. Make new memories. Yeah. So, this is just a glimpse of what's going on with your boy. And, uh, yeah. Now that you know, maybe take some action. If you want that, right? That's up to you. Maybe you are glad that he's feeling this way. Yeah. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. I'm not saying you, but uh, there's a lot of women out there that would, yeah, they're going like, good. <laughs> it's like, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, I just got regrets in the night. Huh, it's kind of strange. Maybe it did something to you, like cheat or something. Baby, yeah, how you doing? Come say hi. Come say hi. Hi. <laughs> that's not coming to say hi. That's just saying hi. Huh? That's just saying hi. Yeah. 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 Okay, second part of the reading. That was your, all your boy, right? That was the ex Virgo. I was feeling towards you, or feeling the moment in, in time at you. Now let's do some future thing. You did not ask me that, but you did uh, donate to the channel. So I will give you uh, a love reading between you and this person. See what may go down. It will depend on your and his actions. Keep that in mind. Okay. So. <clears throat> Brittany Bowen and an ex Virgo. What's going to go down between these two people? These are possibilities, keep in mind, and it's also near future, not far future. Because I have trouble predicting far future, big trouble. Tarot is a hard thing to do, predicting future. Uh, I have looked into it, but it's really vague to me. It's like, like, oh, I was looking at it, and it was like one example. Um, if you say for instance if you got two eights in a reading right and somebody asked like yeah when I'm gonna get married and you got two eights then it's either eight months or eight years yeah wrap your head around that that's something really um, wow but yeah Getting off the topic here, right? So that's why I only do near future. What you doing? Eating an orange. Eating an orange. Eating an orange. That makes up some food, baby. Are you, are you snacking until I make dinner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Brittany Bowen. Okay. What's gonna go down between you and the ex if you choose to take action? And if he chooses to take action. Oh wow, I just threw half my deck on the floor. Of course. 
Eight of Wands. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. The advice for you guys. Ready to take that or not? It's all up to you and him. Okay, this could be some kind of heads up. Uh huh. And the final outcome. The final outcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chariot and five of wands. Bottom of the deck will represent the current situation, right? Well, future situation, I should say. Or, no, that's wrong. That is now. The page of sorts. Learning about what you need to let go off of. Yeah. Um, this could be going down for you or your guy. Yeah, remember you had like uh, the devil in this reading. Devil and um, heartbreak and stuff like that. Maybe he's trying to let go of you. Because maybe he does not hear anything about you. And he's like, I gotta move on. And this is learning on how to deal with it. This might be going on with you as well. Yeah. Near future though, you might receive some sort of uh, message from this person. Yeah. He might reach out to you. Or you gonna reach out to him. This is all about fast and coming energy. This might even be him in the flesh coming towards you as well. Okay. These are, it's the, but this is a possibility. Mm-hmm. Just because it comes out zero, it doesn't mean that it's gonna go down, but it's possibilities. Keep it in mind. It could be. Yeah, this card. Hmm, this coming out in the advice. Hmm. This is the stealing cards, the lying cards. Yeah. Hmm. Sneakiness. This person might be uh, spying on you. On, I don't know. Facebook, Instagram, whatever you got going on there. This could be going down, right? Um, yeah, when this card uh, comes out, it's always so many meanings, right? It's basically sneaky energy. But when this comes into the advice, it might be the energy that he might be uh, not uh, the purest. Not the person with the purest intentions here. Yeah. Keep that in your minds. On the flip side though, this might also be a advice for you or your person to be clever and cunning in the situation. Okay. So you have to apply some sort of strategy. This is all about outsmarting. Yeah. yeah. Could be outsmarting your enemies, but yeah, I don't feel this is an enemy of yours, but um, yeah, I have to be clever. I feel this is more of uh, the energy for your person. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you got eight of wands here. That's fast and coming energy. And final outcome. You have five of wands. You, yeah, you guys. This is all about battles, inner outer struggle. So, if when he reaches out, if he reaches out. That might end up in a struggle, yeah, a battle, a fight, basically. Could be. But after that, another card flopped out, and that card is balanced movement forward. So, but I must warn you, this is a card of, uh, this is either with or without this person. So either you or him is going to move on regardless of what's, what's going to come out. Yeah, so... This could mean you both being together and moving towards this castle of a solid relationship. But I don't feel that at all. No. Um, I could be wrong. But, um, yeah. But the, the way why I'm feeling that is this. This card is all about struggle, fighting, right? And I'm moving on. Yeah, with the confidence I feel it is you. It seems to me that he might... Uh, reach out to you what do you do to him and then is it gonna be some sort of fight like eh, but I was right and you were wrong and uh, you know how it goes down and then you're gonna say hey, well, I'm out and you're gonna go with your chest out and 
Bye, Felicia. So that's what I feel with that. So there you go. There you go. That was your reading. Uh, oh, yeah. Angel card. Angel card. Yeah. Angel card for Brittany. She's so going to come out for you. What the cardboard angels have to say to you. Prioritize. Yeah. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Oh, yeah? Are you, are you going to do that? Yeah, the angel? Hmm. Make our eyebrow, our eyebrow raise, right? Yeah. But, yeah. There you go. That might mean something to you. Hmm. I was reading. Well, thank you again for your donation. That's absolutely amazing that you would do that. That is so generous. Absolutely. Helps us out big time. Yeah, helps keep food in my belly and my wife as well. So, there you go. That was your reading. Let me know how you feel about this. And yeah. see you later. See you later. Bye-bye and thank you.